but is this show worse lit than the last show? <laughs> this is like, oh, I've had too much to drink. I've had too much to drink. I've had too much to drink. I'm dead. <laughs> Caesar Spinas. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a very beautiful actress. She stars in a movie, Hit and Run, which is in theatres now. Please welcome the always adorable, my friend, Kristen Bell, everybody. <laughs> It's very bright. I, I like your sunglasses. It, I heard it was going to be too bright, so I thought I'd come prepared, but I think I can hit. Actually, it is a lot brighter. It's now very bright. It, there's stuff here that nice I didn't. Nice work. What? Nice work on the new studio. I didn't do any of this. <laughs> or you meant nice work? Nice work. <laughs> you look great. Thanks. I had some work done. I took some time off for reconstruction <laughs> of the studio. Understood. Would you ever do that? Reconstruct my studio? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're very I, judgmental. It's a very judgmental I know. Uh, hobos. Why? Yes. Where did you find these transients? <laughs> they just wandered up judging. Oh, oh, Caesar's penis is better than six gal. <laughs> have you ever done? Have you ever? You've been to Vegas, right? Right, have you ever run around a hotel suite naked in Vegas? I can't be sure, um, but I don't think so. But let me be honest, All right. this whole Prince Harry thing. If anybody in America thinks that their kid who is a male and is in their 20s hasn't done that, you're kidding yourselves. Leave him alone. I mean, yeah, do you want nudes all over the internet like that? No, but I There's mean- There's nudes on the internet? Well, of him. <laughs> So hard, suckers! I'm just saying, he didn't murder someone. Like, it's not national news, I don't think. I'm like, he's in Vegas. He's yeah. a kid. Yeah, all right. All right. I mean, he's not a child. I'm not condoning children in Vegas. I'm just saying he's a... I believe he's of the legal... Yeah, he's, no, he's 20. He's 28. He's 28. He's 28? He's 28. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he's not a kid anymore. He should so, be... I feel like I need to reconstruct my studio. You told me he's 28. He's 28. He's 28 years old. He's a war veteran. He, he should be entitled to run around naked if he wants to. I couldn't agree more. Right, I say, you, you know what? America, get off his back. Hey, hey, I don't think America's on his back. <laughs> a lot of news programs have been on No, his no, back. never mind them. Who watches that crap? I, what I'm saying is it's the, the royals in Britain. That's the one. They're like, well, tell them little surprises. Oh, they could use a little spice. Well, look, I've got a decorative picture of Her Majesty the Queen, all right? Um... <laughs> But it's from the old studio, and we. This is when we used to imagine her when she was wrongly imprisoned. <laughs> but even even if we let her out, as you can see, she is still very disappointed in Harry's behaviour. Have you ever eaten off her face? <laughs> that was a bit of a soft ball, if you don't mind me saying. Uh, no, no, I wouldn't eat off Her Majesty the Queen's face. It's a decorative plate. It's for hanging in your home or oh, of course. pleasure dungeon. <laughs> hey, speaking of your new pleasure dungeon, I got you um, uh, a, a welcoming gift. Oh, thank you, a bag. Yeah. It's not... Oh, thank you very much. I figured. Um, oh, I know wow. you're probably. Gonna... I know you're probably gonna. Fire Jeff. I'm not going to fire Jeff. Oh, I forgot you, Jeff. H. Probably though. before the end of the show. No. So I figured we wanted to have something to remember him by. I can hear you, Bill. Yeah. I'm sorry. I forgot that you two hate each other. Uh, the, uh, but uh, he's all right. He's fine. Look at him. He's all right. But this is this is great. That's though. pretty cool. I right? really. This might actually work better in the new place, uh, Jeff. I'm thinking. How dare you? Yeah, it, no, his job was fine until you went overboard with Caesar's penis. <laughs> I think this would work. Like, you got a close up of this, right? Give me a close up of this. It's pretty cool. All right, and then, and then watch. That's right, Craig. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, that would work out just right. I'll put it up in the mantelpiece. Okay, wait, yeah. wait right there. There you are. Ooh, that fire's hot. <laughs> There you are. I'll put it up there. It looks lovely up there. How did you choose? Her? 
Yeah. How did you choose who to frame? Well, we get pictures of, uh, you know, all our favourites up there. Dave's up there and uh, uh, Tom Snyder, God rest him, who did the Betty White, uh, Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney, and... Uh... Did you shout? Is that Justin Bieber? Yeah, uh, we, we have Bieber up there, but someone dropped it. Uh, <laughs> the photograph of Bieber is inside the frame and he punched it. Bieber punched it? He's a puncher. He's just a little guy. I don't think he's a puncher. Oh, he's a puncher. He punched a guy. He punched a... Oh, he punched a, he punched a paparazzi. Oh, that's not a guy? Not really. <laughs> you do, it's okay to punch paparazzi? Would you punch a paparazzi? I can't comment. <laughs> Tell me about your movie. My movie... <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. <clears throat> so, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. It's called Hit and Run. Right. It's in theaters right now. Really? It's the funniest movie you've seen all year. Those are the only three things you need to know. All right. It was written and directed by Dax Shepard. Your boyfriend stroke Hello. fiance. Yeah. It stars us. We made it all ourselves. Do you use your own money? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> I don't believe in myself that much. I don't believe in using your own money for anything. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. We borrowed money, but um, Dax's mom did snacks. She did the catering. <laughs> Then the movie's going to be a hit for I'm sure. You know you, where that's. It good. is good. Yeah, yeah. No, it will be good. And how were the snacks? Uh, decent. <laughs> decent. <laughs> They're pretty good. This in the woman's going to be your mother-in-law. Decent. And she's very nice. But listen. The, whoa, whoa. Right at the beginning, and then she kind of gave up halfway through, and she just by the end of it, like in the beginning, she was making like soups and berry cups, and by the end, she had was sitting in a long chair, and she had propped her feet up on a on a, a like a basket and put a bunch of power bars melted all over the table and just said, I don't care. It's like, <laughs> it's like she really got into show business. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well, we have to take a break, apparently. Is that from the movie or just from your house? That is from my house. Yeah, it's and just like... And we spliced it into the movie. It was really seamless. Half yeah. this movie is a documentary. So, do you keep a camera crew around your house for times when you and Dax are getting in When I can afford them. <laughs> <laughs> are they expensive? Yes, very, yeah. What, film crews? Film crews? Yeah. Yeah, they're like the best unionized workers out there. They're the most expensive. These you ones are pretty cheap. Me you don't pay these guys? Huh? You don't pay these guys? No. These are just, you know, wedding videographers that come in. <laughs> that makes sense. They're really mad at me now. But, uh, but they'll get over it. It'll be fine. There'll be no shots of me for the rest of the show. <laughs> or very unflattering ones. Do you... Now, I noticed this with actresses. Do you... When you go into a film set, do you find the uh, director of photography, the lighting guy, and flirt with him? Yes. Yeah, all actresses yes. do that. Because that's the guy that's lighting you, right? Yeah, well, it's more than just that. you got to go to the lighting guy and the director of photography, and you really got to say, anything you need from me, I'm here for you. And that's got to be a real general sort of invitation. And then they light you really nice. <laughs> And then once in a while you bring them a coffee. I'm not talking like after hours. Perhaps. Well, you don't bring them a coffee after hours? No. He's like, I'd like to bring you a coffee, but we're in overtime, so you're screwed? No, but you, you, you have to be nice to them because otherwise they're not gonna let you. And they also advise you, Craig, not to get that close to the camera. <laughs> and I don't- But here's the thing. You haven't talked to your DP, I don't think, because you get very close. I do get very close to the camera, but the, the truth of the matter is, I'm not really trading on my beauty at all, let's be honest. Oh, I, I disagree. You know, I, I mean, people already know when I walk out that it's going to be hideous and it <laughs> may get worse. I disagree. Well, I don't know. Anyway, I don't care. I don't care. Okay. I, I'm, I'm kind of frightened of this studio, though, because I might care if it's this big. It's, it's like a real TV show. I'm very uncomfortable. Do you put on concerts? I feel like this yeah, is going to yeah, be we'll like get... a Chuck E. Cheese band, and it's going to... Yeah! Oh, I want that so badly. Do I, 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 what I think it looks like is like a giant purse. <laughs> Let me go and... Do you want to come and we'll play with it? Come yeah. on, we'll play with it, then. Um, but 
it doesn't look anything like a handbag. Don't carry a handbag like this, Craig. No, this is this is the this is the rage. Everybody's carrying them. Right. Go inside and then we'll go oh. behind the car. What what? You said go inside, but then you close the door. <laughs> I'm so confused. Well, co come on in and then and then I'll introduce you. Okay. All right. What Kristen doesn't know. <laughs> When she comes out, everyone pretend she's French. <laughs> Don't understand her. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kristen Bell! Thank you so much, everybody. It's really great to be here. It's really great to be here. I feel even smaller in a studio this what Big. Kristen is saying is, thanks, everybody. It's really great to be here. That's what I said. No, they, they, don't, said. they don't speak your language. They don't speak my language. What no. language do they speak? They speak English. <laughs> Real quick. They don't speak... What, what? I confirmed. I also speak English. No, no, no. So... No, 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 no. You're, you're speaking French. Oh, my gosh. I, that's right. I learned to speak fluent French when we went to France last year. Do you remember that? That was fun, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought so. <laughs> Do you remember when we saw Marie Antoinette's bed? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember when we weren't supposed to sit on it? Oh. And we didn't? I sat on it. We're back in America. <laughs> The queen can't hear me, she's a plate. <laughs> Let's go back and finish up. Uh, and also keep talking. Do you want to get, uh, Do you know, I realize this is why talk shows have bands, though, because we had to walk from there to over there, and it would have been good to have some music. Oh, I'm exhausted. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so, we're out of time. Um, what do you want? Uh, mouth organ, awkward pause, or a big cash prize? I have to tell you, by the way, big a cash... A big cash prize is an option? Oh, yeah. You haven't been here in that long? Mm -mm. Well, then you won't be concerned that the big cash prize is now $7.50. <laughs> I'll take it. What time is it, Shadow Stevens? It's time for the big cash prize! Big cash prize! <laughs> big cash prize. Now, here, there are two ways to win. You can either... Wait, it's $7. You said I just would win a big cash prize, not I had to do something for it. <laughs> That's what winning's all... So you didn't tell me I had to play mind games for it. It's not mind games, it's questions. Or a mind game, actually. There's a mind game... <laughs> There's a mind game called Guess What's In My Box. And here's how that works. I imagine... I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. And then you try and guess what's in the box. And if you're right, Jeff will tell you. You win seven and a half bucks and nickels. Okay, in nickels? Yeah, it's for uh, um, Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. What do you want to do? Uh, guess what's in my box or a question? Oh, gosh, there's so many decisions. Um, a question. Oh, okay. Uh, well, guess what's in my box? I don't know, I'm very indecisive. Okay, guess what's in my box? <laughs> I'm imagining. Uh, oh, I've made a terrible mess of your new studio. <laughs> Which, no. Uh, all right, I'm imagining a box in my head. Jeff, do you have my box? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Kristen, yes. what is in my box? A tiny hat. Tiny, <laughs> tiny hat? Jeff, is she correct? Yes, a tiny hat that sits atop Caesar's penis. <laughs> 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 